and welcome back. I want to look at a program called ODMS Dictation Model from Olympus. Now it allows you to organize your audio files in folders, rename them and even transcribe them using the Dragon Engine. You can even create workflows so you could maybe put it through to an FTP file transfer protocol or maybe through an email. So it gives you that option to work with audio files and transcription to share. So I'm going to do a short video just to get you up and running so there'll be no detail. Two options up here, you're going to have an option that says one, we can actually record audio and two here, it will record audio but also transcribe at the same time. But before you even start, you need to go to Tools, Show Setup Wizard, you must do this first. Create yourself an author ID, it's important you create different authors and IDs depending on what you're doing. Okay, so you can tag because you might get an error come up saying incorrect author ID. Make sure you do that. Then click next. I'd leave this default, it's going to download to your documents folder. I'll show you that in a minute. This is the bit underneath here. And if you want to set up an email, for example, if I tap on email outlook, click next, you can then choose. You can set up your own post office protocol or simple mode transfer protocol to set up your email or you can choose one here like Outlook or Gmail and then you have to put your details in obviously your email and your password for that server and that way it will email directly to clients or members of staff with the transcription and the audio files if you want as well really handy option but I'm not going to set that up click next this is really important this software uses Dragon to transcribe it integrates with it so you've got all for ID here so I've got the one that I created click on here you should have your profile showing up here which will be your dragon profile and you might have a couple of different profiles but make sure you choose your profile there click next this you can decide if you want a specific template so what this will do here you can add index marks yeah I'll show you that in a minute and you can have those index marks separated in paragraphs according to them so look at them as bookmarks if you like within an audio file but I'm going to leave that as it is and click next and I'm happy with that, click finish. So do that first before you do anything. Now we're ready to go. So I said about the first option, new dictation, tap on it. What this will do, it'll bring up another window for you then to start recording. So look at this as a recorder on your laptop first, okay? So then we've got the option here to start recording, tap on it. It is now recording and you can see the timeline here as it records. Now we've got an option here as well where it says verbal comment so if you keep your finger on it this is a verbal comment and let go of it and it highlights it green so it annotates it for you which is a really handy option and again you might press it again here again I'm doing another verbal note and let go of it again when you've finished hit the stop button here and it's done you play it back tap anywhere on the timeline and click play now got an option here as well with tap that to go to the end so there we go then I can select up here finish so I'm happy with that I can give it a name at the top so I'm just going to call that test one it goes to your default folder but you can select all your folders which I'll show you in a minute you can even rename these folders as well so you can really organize your files and click OK now if we go to folder array now all these folders are folders in your documents on your laptop and there it is sitting there and ready to go but you notice something on the right speech recognition in progress so it's actually transcribing it automatically for us and we know that's ready because a little note will come up here saying it's been transcribed so while that's working away I'm going to move to the next option up here and it's this one here do real-time speech recognition now just to let you know if it doesn't automatically and just bring up the note there, look, so if I tap on it it'll bring up that window and you can have the text that I dictated there if I click this little tick here, finish you can choose to send it to Microsoft Word or plain text, it's up to you what you want to work, so you've got it all transcribed in text ready to go so I'm going to click cancel on that and close that window but if it doesn't transcribe, you highlight it, come up here and use that to add to recognition queue that will add it to recognition queue and if I come down here 
it will add it in this little box here. Let me go back up, I'm going to show you the next option. This is called the real time speech recognition, so it will transcribe as you're listening. So it'll bring up a window again, separate window to work with. Now it's important you do this, yeah, for the first time. Because my profile, I just did a random profile, hasn't been trained. So when you click yes, I'll show you quickly. You can start talking to your microphone by reading the text there. And that will set up the profile properly, but I won't do that for now. Now we're ready to go. So if I come up here and press on it. Hello, this is a quick test. So this will transcribe as I speak. Comma. And that way, as I'm recording, be it a meeting or my own voice, I can see the text and record it at the same time. Full stop. I'm going to select the stop button. So there we go, we're good to go then. If you come up here, we've got a few options up here as you can see. If I click finish, we can send that to a Word document or its text format if you want. We can add that to pending to do it later. And we come here, these are for Dragon to correct in. You can click on here, and if you click this, if you've trained it, like I said earlier, by speaking into it, when you tap on it, you won't get this error message. And you can just train the word by saying it two times is normally enough. So if you want to play around with bold, underline, and you've got your font colours there. Even change your font size or your fonts there if you wish as well. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come out of there by clicking top right X and that will close it and go back to the original window. Now I've got an option here, it will bring up automatically send for correction, finish or pending. So I'm just going to put finish and then give that another name. So I'm going to call this test 2 and again it's going to go to folder A. You can change that if you wish. It's going to turn into a Microsoft Word document. I'm happy with that. Click OK and that window should now close and take me back to the original interface. And there we go. You can see test 2 there, I've done as well now. And it's also got a note there as well. So there's two options to work with. But what about the third option? Say you've got a dictaphone, or you've got an audio file that's been sent to you, or you've recorded from your laptop. Click on File. You can actually import dictation there. Find the file you want and import it folder you want and that way we can use the option to transcribe again but the last option is using a dictaphone now I've got an old dictaphone here I'm going to plug in now give it a little while to kick in and you'll see it appear bottom left hand corner watch there's a date and time here it is so you know it's working because it'll plug in here you've got multiple options to download all upload all and you've got all your folders here on there so if I go to folder A, these are all the files that I've just randomly done on a dictaphone. So now I can work with them. So I could go to the second one and decide, you know what, I want that, I want to store it into a folder on my laptop. Now these folders you can rename, so if I do a right click, select rename. Just put my meeting in there as an example. And that way, I can start organising my audio files. So if I go back to Lecture, hold the left button, and I can drag it into the folder I want. Download complete. Tap on it, and it's now safely in my Documents folder on my laptop. And there it is at the top. I would also recommend renaming it. So do right-click, Edit Job Data, because you're going to end up with loads of codes. I know you've got them in the folders anyway, but... Let's just put me in one. All for Spuddy, which I'm fine with. Click OK. And then if I want to, I've got the option with meeting to right click it. And then I can do convert to dictation if I want. Or just add to recognition queue click that and what it does is look at the bottom left I've added to the queue speech recognition and watch it work away as it trans because it's going to actually transcribe it for me so that way you can leave it working away transcribing and go back to your folders 
and carry on working on your folders. Just tell you the top here, look, it's still in progress working. So there's three, four great ways of working with audio files, organizing and then transcribing them. But I say it's imperative you sort Dragon out, create a profile first in Dragon before you start to use this, otherwise it will not transcribe for you. One last thing in case you want to do this, you've got the outbox. I never set this up email, did I? If you set your email up, you can drop your files into here and it will automatically email them to your clients in your workflow. I want to show you one more thing quick. If I go to Tools, Options, so at the top we've got Workflow. So you can select what kind of workflow you want for moving items to the recycle bin, synchronizing devices, date and time if you wish. And if you come down here, you can choose what downloads you want to automatic downloads if you want to select, importing, and even author. I've got two authors there, and I might actually decide I don't need the second one, so I'm going to remove that. I only need the one. And you can work type. So it's a matter of what you want to do with that. There's no point in me going through it all because you'll choose exactly how you want to set that up. But definitely have a look at the workflow and then use the settings. And last of all, that's the email settings where you can add one there, select your email profile to send, and then set up your email protocol there as well. So there's just a quick, fast look at the software. There's a lot more to it, but it just gives you the very basics.